In this structured drill, each movement of the Joe is paired with a distinct movement in the lower body, corresponding to the ski, to the pass in front of the body, to the pass behind the body, and to the exiting strike. This correlation between our footwork and the movement of the Joe creates a more formalized posture as we curry kaishi while moving forwards, backwards, and to both sides. Practice both diagonal and horizontal entries to the transition as separate sets and in combination. Our walking drill has us moving through Kuri Kaishi while walking casually. In this drill, the movement of the transition is not paired with any particular footwork. Instead, the transition is facilitated through the movement or angling of our hips as we walk forwards, backwards, and to both sides. You may notice that you require more reach with the arms while adjusting to the style of moving through Kuri Kaishi. The aim in this drill is to move as casually as possible in any direction while performing diagonal and horizontal entry Kuri Kaishi, completing the transition regardless of body posture or direction of travel at any point in the sequence. In this turning drill, stand in a loose hicha no kumai and perform diagonal and horizontal entry kuri kaishi. Allow the foot to shift its position when the transition prompts movement of the lower body. The goal in this drill is not perfect balance or kumai, but rather the practice of constantly adjusting to maintain balance while also completing the transition. Maintain the gist of a hicha no kumai throughout the drill, even when correcting a wobble. Once comfortable in this drill, practice turning in a circle in both directions, and with both entries to Kuri Kaishi. A flat surface will provide more stability than grass or uneven terrain. If possible, try both. Practice on both sides of the body. You may find that turning in one direction in relationship to the raised knee is more challenging than turning in the other direction. In this stillness drill, we are moving through Kuri Kaishi while in Hicho no Kamai and without shifting our feet or our height. Due to the minimal movement of the lower body, this drill requires extension in the arms and angling through the hips to help create the posture and reach that allows Kuri Kaishi. In this squat drill, we lower our weight each time the Joe passes behind the back. The lowering of weight acts to replace the movement of the legs, reducing the amount of reach required and creating the body posture to facilitate the transition. Because Hichinokamai already requires a bent knee on the stabilizing leg, be careful not to raise up too high when exiting out of the squat. Keep the chest upright and the shoulders over the hips to stabilize your balance.
Curry Kaishi, like all behind body transitions, can create a tendency to lean the upper body forward during the transition. Practicing while walking casually and while standing in Hicho no Kamae can help correct issues of lean, while also improving balance, dexterity, and proprioceptive awareness while working with a joe.